Listen to what Walzer Wealth Management Rebecca Walzer said yesterday on our show. The numbers so far have not borne out as they said they would. We closed down. Let's not forget that we closed down so that we could flatten the curve, which was done. Nobody ever said let's close down indefinitely until we have a vaccine. So that is totally ridiculous and off the table. Well, joining me now is the Bunsen Group CIO, David Bonson. And, and what did you make of those comments? I mean, she was very clear that this whole shutdown really was overkill and enough is enough. I mean, then, then you hear from L.A. They want to stay shut down till till July. Where do you stand? Well, of course, she was correct. They never said that the shutdown was going to last this long and it was going to be so ambitious in what it was intended to accomplish. I, I, I think the L.A. story has been really overwrought. The fact of the matter is that a bunch of these restaurants and stores are beginning to open and they're taking sound bites from uh, supervisors that want to get themselves in the news. Uh, you know what's really been interesting out here in California is Elon Musk threatening to sue got Tesla open. You know, we I was part of a suit that uh, was brought against the governor for the beaches being closed, and the governor gave in three or four days later. The citizens are running the reopening. It's not at the hands of the politicians. Well, but I was, I was just going to say, as you were speaking, that, but a lot of places, not just in California, but in other parts of the country, the reopening has become a political football, depending on what party and what governor is running that particular state. And there seems to be overreach by some of these leaders. Yeah, it's shocking that some politicians... Politicians would be guilty of overreach, isn't it? And and it, 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 I suppose it probably is somewhat partisan in a lot of cases. But I actually think a lot of the Democratic governors have found that even their normal constituents are very much of the mindset that it's time to put America back to work. Uh, my issues in believing that the uh, shutdown has gone on long enough have nothing to do with my political orientation. I want to see Americans work. I want to see the economy reopen because I think it's best for the cause of human flourishing, which is the great passion of my life. Mm. And I believe that it is time in a safe and healthy way to put people back to work and allow the economy to get going again. It's going to take some time. There's going to be some challenges along the way. But anyone who wants to go short American innovation, American ingenuity uh, is going to lose a lot of money. Yeah. You know, I, before I let you go, I just want to get your market outlook. I mean, it's it's I know it's hard to say we're waiting on treatments. We're waiting on vaccines and we're, we're watching a reopening that's starting to play out across the country. What do you say to investors? No, I don't think that investors should be waiting for vaccines. I think that vaccine makers should be going out and making vaccines and getting ready for that development. But we don't need to be waiting for anything. We need to be actively engaged in our portfolios at, in line with our plans, what the timeline is. You cannot say you're going to go to the sideline and wait for all these things to happen, because when this pandemic is over, there will be another reason and another reason. For 75 years, I could come up with various examples as to what has put investors on the sideline. And it's why so many retail investors, mom and pop uh, folks, have missed out on the great returns of the stock market. It's a wonderful time to be buying good dividend paying companies that can sustain and grow those dividends through this difficult time. That's what we happen to do at my company, but it's a great idea for investors everywhere. It's good advice. Very good advice. David, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.